It is a city where passion for football is red hot. Welcome to Naples in southern Italy. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Here's the team for Napoli. David Ospina begins in goal. Fabian plays alongside Piotr Zielinski in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. This is how the visitors will set up today. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. Very much looking forward to this contest. And Napoli get the proceedings underway. Zielinski Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating Well, they've started really brightly here They were so close to taking the lead Delivered into the area here And it goes! An early opening statement in this match And look at the celebrations Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Giulio Maggiore. Not an easy one to cut out, really. Giving the ball away. Nicolau, Rezza, Verde, Arkadiusz Rezza. And he takes it away. A oh, good idea, but overcooked. A potential danger here. Well read to win possession back. Manai went in strongly to win the ball. 
Oh, terrific pass. Now he's got to stay calm. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. A room to Rome on the wing. Rezza. Getting in there to intercept. And a throw in it's going to be. Ozim Hen. Well, no stopping him. And crossing towards the far post. Well, the clearance half hearted. And never in any doubt from the keeper. Giulio Maggiore. And Kelvin Amiot on the ball. Well timed tackle. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top class save. Delivering it. He dealt with that ball played in rather well. Fabian, the delivery. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Arkadius Retza. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Given away by Napoli. Manai and a good tackle and does well to keep it in play Fabian and out for a throw in just misfiring with the pass Amiot. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Manai. And there it is, the half time whistle. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Maggiore. It's with Nicolau. They've regained possession. Can they create something from here? Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And clears the danger. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. And a goal to increase their advantage. 
match. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Second goal for them here. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Might be able to produce from this position. And deliver towards the back post. Not the best clearance. Can he convert? Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. A racing away. And he's in. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, the header at least made the goalkeeper think. Well, Napoli, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. 30 minutes to go then. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Amir Rahmani. Elmas. Well, the goalkeeper knows it could have been much worse for him. Well, he can't believe his luck there, can he? How is that not a goal? Determined block. Amiens. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Teammates in the middle. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. So a personnel change then. to the final 20 minutes decent position for the Partenope to be in but ultimately up a cul-de-sac Zielinski oh a vital interception Amiot Maggiore Well, the minutes are ticking away, and Napoli in cruise control here, Stuart. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Amiens. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Politano Elmas Effort from long distance Oh, a smart stop And with play stop, they will make the change now
Playing it in. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Zielinski Elmas has it Politano the delivery towards the back post but at one point on its flight I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties but no problems in the end well they've won possession back what can they do from here terrific save And there's the delivery, and still dangerous. Well, they can bring it out now. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. But on you go, says the referee, advantage. Zielinski. And there goes the final whistle. Napoli victorious. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, a superb performance from Matteo Politano. Not for the first time. Stuart, he knows how to turn on the style, doesn't he? Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork but his general play was outstanding as well today. Very impressive.